want to ask you about Sean Roden. Um, I guess two questions. I mean, when he beat Phil Heath two years ago, um, kind of people divided in their opinion, right? Some people said, well, Phil beat him on every single pose, and he only only thing that was worse than Phil is the fact that he had a he had surgery, so he had the stomach was coming out, right? Yeah. And some people say, well, that was that was good enough for Sean to beat him. Yeah. Um, when you saw the finals at Olympia that year, what did you did you think Sean deserved to win? Do you think Phil was still stronger stronger competitor than him? I mean, Phil was strong enough to win. Um, if the gut was an issue, I mean, that could have been an issue for a few other Mr. Olympians that they could have used against them, and they didn't. So, I mean, I mean, I'm trying to say this without getting myself in a hole, man. Cause no, I, I understand. Uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, honesty is not the best policy these days. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Sean Roden, why was, why was it good Sean Roden winning? Because it was a different Olympia. It's kind of get stale after a while, seeing the same guy win. That's true. You know? It's stale and attendance gets low because it's like, oh, he's going to win again. You know what? I'm going to go gamble and go party before I go here. Predictable, and, right? And go to a predictable Mr. Olympia, you know? So that's one of those things that was like, he was good enough to win and Phil had this one small issue that we can use it as an excuse for him to lose. You know, and that, that's what happened. But uh, Phil was still great. He still looked good. I mean, I don't know about Sean beating him in every pose either. You know, I mean, backed up a bicep alone. I mean, couldn't touch him on that, you know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, some people are saying that Phil beat him on every like pose, like why? Oh, Phil beat him on every pose. That's what I people mean, are saying. Right? Yeah, I mean, again, and what could it have been? I mean, was it the stage, or was it something leading up to the stage that Phil did? That's the real question. You know. Could he have done everything and everything and held his gut and come in and Phil would have won? I don't know. I mean, so when he loses, you ask yourself, man, you know, and I think nobody does it better than Dexter, man. Like, damn, man, you lost. What'd you do to somebody? <laughs> and then the second part question about Sean Roden. So he was <clears throat> he was disqualified <clears throat> from competing last year because of the allegations of uh, of, of committing a rape, basically, allegedly yeah. allegation. Um, it's an ongoing case, so we can't really talk about it. But um, you're a promoter yourself. You run at three shows, maybe more now. I'm not sure. But you promoter yourself. Do you think it was fair that he was disqualified from from competing? If you were running the Olympia, would you allow him to compete or not? It's, I remember Vlad, right now we're in the whole thing, you know, transgender, Me Too movement, you know. You tell somebody that works with you, you're pretty right now, you're getting sued, you know. You, know? you let somebody with an allegation, you know, innocent to proven guilty, but you let him into the same room with you, you're in cahoots with them, you know. So it all has to do with stocks and bonds and, and politics and, you know, saving your business, you know, nothing else. So nothing else, uh, you know, that innocent until proven guilty is, is, it depends who it is. You know, it depends who it is, how much power you have, you know, and, and, and that's it, you know, but with, with these movements and social media and, and this allegation and now you're letting him compete and you're, you know, it, it's kind of like, man, I want to let you in my party, man, but, uh, you know. What if? Yeah, that, that streaking last time you did, <laughs> you know, it, it's one of those, you just don't want the bad press. Everything leads to bad press. Bad press leads to bad sales. Bad sales leads to a company tanking. That's it, you know? I mean, feel bad for Sean. 
you know. Yeah. It's horrible it happened to Sean, you know, but um, if, if I was in the same situation, I mean, I would just have no choice but to just, you know, stay home and watch TV, right. you know, because the outcome is basically based on your innocence now when that jury comes back. And, and, and people are going to have the, oh, probably this, the, the haters. Yeah, he did it. People are like him. Oh, I know him very well. I know he didn't do it, you know. You know, women, oh, he, you know, you can't choose it all because he's a man. This size, people going to different sides right now.